Hey guys, it's Laurel and Pierre with Blue Ox on the Run, and today we're going to show you this Chaparral X Edition, the 355 FBX. Can't wait to see you inside. So here we go, Chaparral, made by Coachman, 355 FBX. It is a big fifth wheel. It's about 42 feet overall. But you might be interested in this because that retail, MSRP goes around $90,000 MSRP. So that gives you an idea if you know how to do the math. So it's kind of phenomenal a little bit. So fiberglass side with decals put on there, 30 pound fuel tank on each side. Basic unit, basic construction, but a lot of room, a lot of advantages and roomy. I, I got to be careful. She doesn't want me to say what's inside. So it's kind of hard to go by and just talk about the structure, the Dexter suspension and all the stuff that's supposed to be in there. It's hard to be Vanna on the outside. Exactly. 7,500 pound axle, water heater, uh, Dometic whip, road armor, uh, swivel suspension, electric assist, uh, leveling system. So we got four of them on this unit. So as you can see, four of them on the unit of this size for me is kind of, okay, well, I'd need to have a couple more, but uh, this is a two slide item. Uh, be careful of your head here. We're looking at a 50 yeah, amp. don't hit your head in the We're looking wheel. at a 50 amp plug out here. Big, nice wide sides. A couple of windows here and there. Nice slide out that came out. Um, Light for your flush system because your your gray and your black water is on the heat there. The water bay is quite uh, self-explanatory, kind of basic, simple, does the job. And this is the other black tank. And we should have had a automatic system, but I don't know if they did. I don't think so. That's what I've been trying to look since I'm into this compartment for the storage in the front. Does the job. Uh, you got a solar charger controller that you can see right here that is actually doing its job because on top of this people there's a 190 watt uh, solar charger so now let's go see the inside because I know Lowell's excited to show us that 42 feet long fifth wheel that is actually quite affordable so let's go check it out Thank you for watching our videos. We would love it if you'd hit that subscribe button. It's free. Give us a thumbs up and hit that notification bell so you'll be notified when our next video comes out. All right, let's go check out this. I'm gonna call it a beast because it is a beast. Coming on into the main living area, you've got a beautiful uh, couch that actually pulls out into a bed with a ton of storage up above actually a lot of storage up above this booth dinette which is so cute has great storage underneath as well as it lays down into a bed also Just so the seating kind of for this push. looks directly to the tv but the tv can be pulled out it's on a scissor turned towards the couch itself you've got your three burner stove see i'm cooking see how nice and lit it is i got something in the oven underneath great place to put your pots and pans again nice area for uh, cooking if you love to cook great storage up above what i love about this is it also has this beautiful 12 volt refrigerator and yes i have stocked it with water if anybody's thirsty because we are here at the show and i uh, forgot to tell you that we also have a fireplace so on your chili fall days or winter nights you've got a great fireplace here which is awesome but here is the master bedroom yes i am in the back in the master bedroom it is a queen bed but you can also opt to have the king it is prepped for the tv although there's no tv there you have plenty of storage for your clothes and dresser drawers and then you've got a huge bathroom here in the back, which is a, it looks like a tub. It's got a little bit of a lip, but basically that is a shower, tons of storage in the back in this back bathroom. 
double sinks. Oh, they even have a window in the back. And a window, which is That's nice because cool. you've got that light. Yep. So it's really, and again, they're using a lot of the light textures, which just gives it a nice creamy, dreamy feel, in my opinion. So coming up here, I'm going to take you here first. This is amazing. Tell me what family wouldn't love this. You've got four bunks, so the kids have their own room. You can either put all of their toys and clothes here, or you can have the washer and dryer, but I think if you had that many kids, you'd probably make some, some drawer space in here. But they've got their own room, which is fantastic. They also have their own bathroom. And this bathroom is pretty amazing. I'm gonna let you go in because it actually has a bathtub. And anybody that's camping with little kids knows that if you don't have a bathtub, it's really hard to clean babies. So no one wants to hold a slippery wet baby in the shower. They can actually get in the tub, sit in the tub, which I think is a fantastic feature. So speaking of that, we're gonna share with you our least favorite and favorite features coming right up. Okay, so now it's time to share our least favorite and our favorite features on this particular unit. So Pierre, what is your least favorite feature? My least favorite is the leveling system. So there's only four leveling system legs for a 42 feet trailer. Hey, you can always add, uh, like we did on ours, even if I had six on ours, I actually added two more in the back from BAL. So that's my drawback on this unit. It's, wow, how can you keep this stable? But that's my opinion. And what is your least favorite? My least favorite, there is rug underneath the booth dinette area and underneath the little couch. It's just my little pet peeve when in an RV and especially in the eating area, I don't like rug, but that's just my personal preference. So that's my least favorite. So what's your favorite feature? My favorite feature is the fact that you've got two separate entity as bedroom. Uh, they're up there with their own bathroom, their own place, and you're back there with your own facility and there's a lot of room. And I would say the third one, which Lowell doesn't want me to say, as a fifth wheel this size for a family, it is affordable. I'm, I'm kind of stunned in the fifth wheel world of 42 footer. And so many people are full timing and exactly. taking their kids on the road and teaching them and homeschooling. And this is that's an amazing what we unit. we saw in this. That's why we figured we got to share this with you guys. So yeah. And what's your favorite? My favorite feature is that bathtub. So for kids, I've got little grandkids and there's nothing worse than not being able to bathe them. And I use my sink, but they're getting a little bit bigger and they still like to have a tubby. So I love the fact that they actually have a tubby here in this particular unit. Yeah. So and, that is definitely. And another thing that she forgot yes. to talk about. Well, we I just, just found it. Yeah. This is huge, guys. This storage, if kids were playing hide and seek, they probably hide right inside there. Yeah, that is cool. Yeah. Kind of like that. So again, we proved our point. It's not about the destination. It's all about the journey.